Hey Danny, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the resistance bands tonight. Tonight we'll focus on the anchor. Um, I know that the one you have is a different style than this, but it works exactly the same way. The one you have kind of looks like a tied detergent pod. Um, it should have a loop. And there's basically three positions. It's this, we're just filming this. It's hard to do. Uh, there's not a lot of light. We're doing the best we can. If we make mistakes, we're just going to keep running it straight. So I'm going to put the bulkier side on top of the door. Close the door. And then I'm going to take one of the resistance bands. These are the ones that you have. And I'm going to put it through the loop. I'm lazy, so I like to uh, take it off of the clip. It's easier. And then clip it back on. So this is the position you're going to use more often than not, I would think. The top position, where the anchor is on top of the door. And you can do a whole bunch of things with this. I'm just going to show you a little bit. You could do chest. And also the beauty of these resistance bands, you see the way my hands are right now, palms down. That's called uh, the pronated grip. You could do it with the palms up, supinated, and you're hitting the chest differently. Or you could do it with the palms facing each other, the neutral grip. Now for this, I prefer to use the side position because I think it, it's more natural towards the motion in a real bench press. And I'll show you that in a minute, but since I have it in the up position, I'll show you other things. If I were to turn around, I could sit on a chair or a stool. I can do lateral rows. And again, the hands can be in three different positions. Top, middle, underhand. You could do triceps. Same thing, three positions. And there's many more too. Okay, my door is stuck. There we go. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to show you the side position. Same thing, I'm just putting the fat part outside. I'm having a little trouble closing the door tonight. That's not normal. That's because I have a camera running, I guess. And my dogs are fighting. You can hear that. Ugh. There we go. So like I was saying from before, you could do the bench presses this way. This is the way I prefer to do it. It feels more like a natural. You could do flies. You could also do this from the top, by the way. This is when you were asking me before about lunges. You could do that. If this were a little bit lower, or I can even do it in a standing position. I like to do it lower on a stool. Rows. Cable rows. But like I said, I usually just do it lower in a, while I'm sitting down. Excuse me, dog. Okay, and the bottom position. You could do, I'm just untangling them. If you wanted to do incline presses, you could do that. Um, one of the things that I like to do is for the calves, you were mentioning legs, calf raises. I try and get as close to the door as I can and lean a little bit forward. It hits the calves more. If I were to turn around, I could do bicep exercises. Bicep curls. And again, the three positions affected differently. So this is a standard curl with the palms up. Reverse curl. Dumbbell curl. And I'm just scraping the surface here. There's so many. 
If you stepped over it, you could do uh, front shoulder raises. So much more. And again, just scratching the surface, the tip of the iceberg. Um, I'll show you more as the days go along. Good night.